Welcome back. In this video, you will learn to use filters inside Pabli Connect. So as the name suggests, filter is a feature of Pabli Connect which allows you to filter out some particular type of details or some specific data coming from one application and move that data forward to another application to perform any other action automatically. Okay. And guys, uh, with the help of these filters, you can create more smarter workflows or advanced workflows. So now let me show you the demo of how you can use filters inside Pabli Connect. So here I have created this workflow and in this workflow in the trigger, I have connected jot form. Okay. And uh, here you can see I have done making this connection with the help of this web hook URL and it started showing waiting for the response. So let's capture the response as quickly as possible here. I'm going to fill this form which I have connected and I'm going to do it quickly here. And here you can see guys in this form, I have asked these details and in these details, I just want to show you uh, these, op these options. Okay. So here we have given the gender options, male, female, married and unmarried. These are the options I have given for this thing. Okay. So let me select two of the options here, female and marriage. Okay. And this is the date. And here I'm submitting the form. Okay, so you can see the form is submitted and see, let's see in the workflow if we got the data and here we got the response captured like this and here we have all the details, right? Now guys, I want that from this form, I want to filter out those people who select male as the uh, male as the gender and unmarried as the uh, marital status. Okay, right? So I want to filter out the details of only those people who are male and unmarried. Okay. For that, we are going to use filter here. So we have captured the test data here. Now what we are going to do, we are going to come to this action step and here we are going to apply this filter here. You can see filter. Okay. And here it is asking to select the label. Uh, according to which you can filter out the data. So guys, you can see in this trigger step, we have received these labels and we have received the gender label here, gender one label in which it is showing the marital status and in gender zero label, it is showing the actual gender. Okay. So what I want, I want that, uh, uh, I want to filter out the details of only those people who are male and unmarried. Okay. So for, for that, you have to just click here and the previous or the trigger step will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data. So from here, I'm going to map, uh, I'm going to select this uh, gender one label first, which is showing us the marital status. Okay. And here I want to filter out the details of the people who are unmarried and males. So here I'm going to select the filter type as equals to, and I'm going to put the value here as unmarried. That's what we have uh, given the option unmarried. So I'm going to put here as, as it is. Okay. So this is one condition of filtering out the data. Next condition is that the person is male as well. Okay. And uh, the date, the data have to satisfy both of these conditions. Okay. So when it satisfies both of these conditions that the person is male and also unmarried, then only I want to uh, continue the workflow and uh, send the data. Otherwise, I do not want to capture the data or send the data forward. Okay. So here we have one condition right now to apply another condition. We have this plus icon you can see. So with the help of this plus icon, you can add and logic condition and log logic condition means that when, whenever, whenever both of the conditions match true, then only continue the workflow and filter out the data. Okay. Uh, and if any of those conditions founds to be false, the data will not be filtered. Okay. So that's how you can apply end condition. Or if you want to apply or condition, that means that I want to filter out the people who are married or unmarried, oh, sorry, male or unmarried. Okay. So we can apply or conditions as well. For that, we have this or condition option. When you click on this plus or condition, that's how an or condition will build up. Okay.
when you apply or logic here, what will happen? If any one of these conditions are satisfied, the workflow is going to continue and the data will be filtered out. Okay. That means when the gender is male or the marital status is unmarried, in both of the cases, the data will be filtered out. But right now I'm going to show you the demo of and logic condition for that. Just click here on this plus icon and here from the trigger, select another label for the marital status for the gender and put here male. Okay. So when both of these conditions are satisfied, satisfied, the workflow is going to run. Right now in the test data, we have received this data that the person who have filled the form is married and female. So this workflow should not run for this per for this particular data. Okay. For that, we are going to check by clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see it started showing the condition is false. Okay. So actually the condition is, is false because the data we have received is uh, the data of a female who is married, but we want to filter out the details when the person is male and unmarried. So in real time, whenever this data is going to uh, come, the workflow is going to run. Okay. Now guys, let's say you want to filter out this data and send it to any other application. For that, just you can click on this plus icon and here you can connect any other application. So right now show, to show you the demo, I'm going to uh, connect Google Sheet application here. So in this Google Sheet spreadsheet, I want to capture the details of the filtered data males, okay? Of the males who are unmarried, right? So in the action events, select this add new row option, then click on connect. Let's, so you can see we are getting connected with Google Sheet and here uh, you can see the spreadsheet's name is here. You can select it from this list and the sheet names also. And here I want to uh, send this data, the, the first name, last name, email address and the phone number of only those people who are male and unmarried. Okay. For that, I'm going to map the details that we have received from the trigger. Okay. For that, you just have to click here. And from this previous step or the trigger step, map the first name label. I think you already know uh, how to map the details. Okay. And why we map the detail, the labels here, because it updates every time the workflow executes. Email address. So we don't have phone number. I'm leaving this thing blank. Okay. And now you can check your connection by clicking on save and send test request and the data will be sent here. But right now I'm just clicking on save and I'll show you the real time demo of this workflow. Now what I'm going to do here, you can see my spreadsheet is empty. We have, we are done creating the workflow. Now I'm going to open the form here and let me fill in the details of this form. And now let me select male and unmarried option. That's what we want in our spreadsheet. Okay. Right. And here I'm submitting this form. Okay. So the form is submitted. The selection was, uh, according to our filter that we have applied in our workflow. Now I'm going to show you directly in my spreadsheet. If we got the data of this form submission and here you can see guys, we got the data. Okay. It is showing you the demo person email address. Okay. That's what we have filled. And according to the selected choices we have here, according to the selected filter we have here, the data got captured of an unmarried male. And let me show you another demo. Now let me fill in the form again. Now let me select male, but married. Okay. And I'm submitting here. This form is submitted. Let's see in our spreadsheet if we got the data. We don't got any, didn't get any data because the selected choice was male and married, not unmarried. So this filters blocks that data and did it forward it here. So that's how you can use the filter feature of public connect. Okay. So you can use this feature to make your workflow smarter and churn out your data specifically. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel